this is Brandon Garnot here with Paul Spica here in the Spica real estate office making the first videos of 2018. Uh, so we do the monthly videos uh, about values and Sierra Field and what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. um, but for 2018 in January, uh, we wanted to give a little bit more in-depth look of kind of looking back on 2017. So Paul, what's kind of a summary of what did we see Sierra yeah. Field 2017? Yeah, in general, we saw a lot of positive, a lot of positive movement in 2017. I'm very much a numbers guy, uh, so if you'd like more information uh, than what we give you here, give me a call. I'll be happy to share my spreadsheet with you. Um, but for now, we'll hit a couple of the highlights from 2016 to 2017. Uh, 2016, we saw 38 condos sell, and in 2017, we actually saw that number go down from 38 to 30 condos so um, an interesting note is we sold the same number of new construction condos from 16 to 17 um, and so we saw eight fewer pre-owned condos um, we also saw the median price uh, the median price go up just a little bit about three percent which is a fairly typical number if you look at real estate historically three percent is kind of a good number um, it's also important to note that in the market overall, if you look at all of Kent County, if you look at the greater Grand Rapids area, you will see a higher average sale price increase. Um, but we're talking about a very specific community, a very specific product type, condos, um, and a relatively small sample size. Um, so this is it's a good indicator for Searfield, but it, there's some reasons why it might be different than the, the overall market. Um, we also saw, one of the questions we get asked is, how long does it take for my condo to sell? Um, we actually saw the average days on the market stay exactly the same from 2016 to 2017 at 25 days on the market. That's from when the property hits the market to when it is officially under contract or a buyer has been secured. Um, those, those average days on the market, that is uh, not including new construction. New construction uh, days on the market tend to skew the, skew the numbers quite a bit. One of the unique things about Sierra Field is that we can drill down all the way to the exact floor plan because a few floor plans were built multiple times. And so we can actually identify them by name and say, this is the price range for, for XYZ condo. Um, and so we watch these pretty closely because we know the floor plans pretty well. Um, I'll identify three different floor plans and try to describe them because you may not know your the name of your floor plan. But um, the most popular floor plan in Sierra Field is the Pearl. The Pearl is, is very easily identified with a two car garage and two bedrooms in the lower level of the condo, kitchen, dining room, living room on the main. It could be an end unit or an outside unit. In 2016, we saw the lowest sale price for a Pearl condo at 135,000. In 2017, we saw the highest sale price for a Pearl condo at 177,000, almost a, 40, a $42,000 increase from one year to the other. Now that could be an interior unit versus an end unit or add a sun porch, could be some variables there. Um, but that's a large increase, a very large increase. Uh, and, and you'll often hear uh, real estate agents use the phrase, uh, when the water rises in the harbor, all the ships go up. And so it's a, it's a very positive thing. Um, another very popular floor plan in Sierra Field is the Opal. The Opal is always an end unit, always has a two car garage, has a side entrance uh, with a bay window in the front, uh, master suite on the main floor. Sometimes it has a deck, sometimes it has a sun porch. Uh, again, sometimes it has a finished basement, all those variables. In 2016, we saw the low sale price of 150,000. In 2017, we saw the high sale price for an Opal condo at 210,000. That's a big number. That's a really big number because for a while there, we were struggling, especially in the commons of Searfield, we were struggling to break 200. Um, I, think, I think we did it early in, in 17. We did it once with one of the larger two stories. We hit 200,000. Um, but this one at 210 is, is a big deal. To break 200,000 is, is a big deal. For, and that for gets back to when the water rises, you know, all the ships kind of go up. So all the ships a good go indicator up. that values are still rising. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. And in the last one, the last floor plan that I'll point out is also a very popular uh, floor plan um, uh, in the commons of Sierra Field. And uh, it's the Palm floor plan. Um, and indicated by a uh, single stall garage 
And again, uh, with two bedrooms downstairs, this is more of a traditional bi-level, um, but there are a, a number of Palm floor plans in Sierra Field. Um, and in 2016, we saw four of them sell. Uh, low sale price was 133,000. In 2017, we saw four of them sell. A high sale price was 162,000. So again, we saw a large swing in that same floor plan. Um, again, some variables are there, um, but it gives you kind of a, a good idea as to what that particular floor plan is selling for. And as we looked at other floor plans, we saw similar increases uh, from 16 to 17. And so all, all very, very positive uh, st statistics as we look at them. And I believe right now there's only one pre-owned condo on the market last time I looked, um, you would have received something like this in the mail. Uh, we dug quite a bit deeper, but this is typically what you would have gotten. Um, and as I'm looking at it, yeah, there's three new construction and one pre-owned condo on the market right now. So thanks for that uh, recap of 2017. Like you said, a lot of good signs that we're seeing. Yep. Uh, if you're wondering, hey, I'm thinking about selling in 2018, you know, what would that look like for me? Mm -hmm. uh, we'd love to sit down with you and basically kind of do the same thing only on an even more personalized level. Um, so we'll do all the heavy lifting for you. You know, you can just show us the condo uh, and then we'll do our research and we have uh, obviously have kind of a lot of the information that we already know because we're keeping tabs on Sierra Field and do a lot there. Um, and if you are, even if it's, you know, maybe five years down the road, sure. I'm thinking of selling. Yeah. Um, for most people, their home is their biggest investment. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense to track it. Um, and know how it's doing. So uh, again, things that we love doing, meeting with you, talking about your home or condo, what are values looking like? Um, if you're thinking about, hey, what are some things around the house I can do to kind of spruce it up a little bit? Mm -hmm. How can I make sure I'm on that top end versus Absolutely. the, you know, maybe the lower end? Absolutely. We'd love to share, you know, hey, what are the, the little things you can do? Uh, how can you get the most bang for your buck in repairs and updates and things like that? So, Paul, anything else that you wanted to share with them for today? I think we covered it all. Very good. Thanks, folks. Have a great day.